hello? That's right, you, come closer. Hello there, come over here. That sounds great. Let me see what we can do with that. just experimented with an analog oscilloscope. Traditionally, oscilloscopes have been used to test electronic equipment, but they also allow us to see sound. Sound is a form of energy and transmits mechanically through voltage. By changing elements like pitch and volume, sound can create shapes, and shapes can create sound. Human's interaction with technology is crucial to our survival and advancement. As time goes on, we need to use old technology with modern mindsets to continue to advance. But let's remind ourselves of how far back in history technology has been a part of humankind. Technology is a tool that humans use to address fundamental needs. Fire for warmth and cooking. Tools for hunting and crafting. Agriculture for living off the land. Sailing for transit.
Today, human life has been made easier with technology which permits us to recognize when, where, how, and why we should concentrate on greater things in life. The end goals are changing. We are changing. Everything is changing. Soon, humans may birth a new species from technologies that exist today. While we are in control today, one day soon, we may be far from in control. As the physical world deteriorates, we could live comfortably in a digital world. Although technology is rapidly advancing to our benefit, the uncertainty of its progression is alarming. Nanotechnology of the future could solve problems of today. But what if it doesn't? Should humanity escape to the digital realm? Would this change our identities, ethos, and oneness? If so, we might only exist in a metaverse. Uploading our consciousness to synthetic life forms is an easy escape from the physical world. But, Will a computer program emulating the brain take control over the body? We believe the smartest of technology is a servant to us. Or are we servants to them? Will they remember us?